Oh, bro, I've, I've been talking this whole time. And it was muted. Great. I love it when that happens. Waste a good five minutes of my life. Um, yeah, it's not muted anymore, I don't think. Let me just double check. Test. Yeah, Alright, we're still good. I've got my mic working now. Sorry about that. VOD analysis. Yes, we're going to do it for James UK7. I already started the recording. Yo, Ramon. Thanks for uh, the dono. Whenever you can get that video ready, or if you ever put it on stream, put that through into the Google form, and I'll, I will put you on number one on the list. Um, right now, we're going to do a VOD analysis, and to answer your question, Argelix, a VOD analysis is where I watch over a set that's been streamed or recorded, and I will criticize your gameplay. I will basically pick you out like you would or the fat kid in class and uh i will just point out all your flaws yeah that's basically it all right so i don't know james is going to see this comment <laughs> i'm not calling you fat james just saying i'm going to criticize your gameplay we're going to see how it goes so he's a sonic main he's been playing for a long time from what i see on twitter we're going to go into it blessing alex od which rings a bell He's a Crush 40 fan. Uh, just as a quick note, I don't play as much Sonic as I would like to. But I'll try and judge it on neutral alone. So, the dash up shield into jumping in disadvantage. Already, we see flaws. This is bad movement. Avoid the first laser good. You see he does a short hop here, he's running in. Why are you going to stop? He's only jumped up. He hasn't jumped towards. So James, I think you hesitated way too quickly. And you uh, panicked way too quickly. I guess those can go hand in hand. So uh, don't be so defensive when you don't need to. You could have just went in there straight away with a fair. Be out his jump of your aerial attack. It's a possibility. Always watch your opponent. See where they jump. And judge it from their trajectory. Because you can see right here. He's jumped up, not ahead. Yeah, just punish it. I right, side off strong with a homing missile into a grab. Alright, big damage being made right here. And I love this already. He's playing under him. He's keeping the pressure. He's keeping a good distance. And uh, he, he's being threatening as he moves. But now neutral's been reset. I think he, he let it go somewhere. Yeah, that dash attack. Nah. Uh, maybe it's a misinput, but small things like that can be costly. Um, it's a huge mistake, that dash attack. You just allowed him to regain control of neutral. So be careful what you press. Now he's back on stage. Neutral's reset. And now you're at disadvantage just from doing that spin dash. Spin dash is nowhere near. And you did it at a distance where he can react to it completely. You know, it's it was uh, not the best choice. I think as Sonic, you can bait a bit more, especially with your movement. Um, you going in with the first attack and at a distance which is reactable is not the smartest choice. Now you're at disadvantage because you're in the air, which will get you hurt. Fair trade, ooh. Stream lag. Oh, nice idea with the fair. He just, um. Well, Alex, uh. Spot dodged at a good time. Bit scary with these, uh, spins right here. Fortunately, uh, Alex didn't punish the ones before. Like. This one here, I think this is where it was at. It was here, yeah. That one here, he could have uh, just shot laser, really. He could have done anything, blocked it, uh, possibly down smash, down tilt. Uh, these distances are not good. I think, um, Alex, you need to 
you need to be using spin dash more as a text situation option or at a distance where it's harder for him to react um fortunately for you alex didn't but i'm saying it compared to other opponents you wouldn't have an easier um get out of jail free card but he just decides to jump over instead of punishing Uh, no, no bad cross up. Can you not follow up from this afterwards? You hit him with up air. Jump. You use one jump. Use the other jump and go back in. You did the cross up. He's facing away. It's. I don't think. Under other than um, uh, Alex doing F tilt with the C stick to correct himself, I don't think he has much options after a cross up. With Wolf. The food for four. That could have been a much bigger punish. Let's see. Could you have reacted to that? Oh, you definitely could have reacted to that. Just look at the angling right there. If you... Um, maybe it's a bit too hard to determine it. Yeah. Because you just got a little higher over the ledge. But it's still worth the try to do F smash. Sonic's little fucking spaghetti arms. That shit reaches miles. I mean miles. If he grabs the ledge, great. You know, whatever. You, you're still at a safe distance. If he doesn't, you got a free hit right there. So, you misjudged the wolf flash. And because of that, you chose a defensive option of shield, which, you know, he gets away with a bigger punish. I mean, you got something in with a jab, still putting him off stage. But it could have been a much bigger, bigger punish there. Fair. Way too late. Look where he is. At this point, he's going to be under you entirely. If that wolf had a jump, that right there is a jump backer. You would have died. Um, maintain, the per maintain your uh, control of stage. These sort of going off stage stuff is fine with the right timing otherwise um you're just gonna get punished you know you got so many more options than just going for the greedy one with this uh with taking a stop off stage uh, robbie says can angle it down to catch le chang yeah exactly with the f smash just angle it you know it's I've, i don't know if it's disjointed all i know is that the range is incredibly large and even if it does trade you'll be winning in that in that essence. So yeah, this fair was yikes. And you gave him control of neutral because he went off like that. Nice try with F smash. Good read on his roll. And I love the attempt at the spring. Hey, he's going off stage again like that. Just need to work on your timings a bit more. That was a good distance to use it, uh, you spin dash. Oof. No, no, no. Alright, you're getting pressured here. You, you didn't watch for the second laser. It's too late now. So, uh, you're gonna get hit. Ideally, just hang on the ledge, see what the option is, and then react to it afterwards. Um, regardless, you got hit. You, you're now dropping. You've used your jump, which... I don't agree with necessar necessar necessarily because that jump could have been used to re-grab the ledge again. That jump could have been used as a defensive option if you let yourself go lower uh, below the stage and then you jump up there and then try and get the ledge again. Um, and also, if you are going to use a jump and you want to, I would not recommend doing it that early. Because doing it so early like that really limits you yeah like i said maybe just you know taking your time with it and then coming back in air dodge was yeah, it was way too early you, you still had plenty of time the best he's gonna do right in this in this situation would have been fair he could have just fared you right if you didn't air dodge and you jumped the worst you're gonna get hit with is fair but more often than not, 
you would have got away with up uh, with not getting hit by down smash, which is what he is already brought out. Yeah, he didn't do that because he re reacted to your air dodge. He did that as a very um slow reaction to your jump. But because of your commitment to the air dodge, you yourself is getting. Instead, look at other options. Homing missile, spin dash. You have a uh, aggressive return to the stage. These air dodges need to be last resort. Truly last resort. There again, like why? The way where, where you air dodge, you're not getting past him. I understand you used it to cross up and confuse him by doing so, but look where you are. Why? Just uh, either tech on spot, tech away, or um, it, it's a tech situation regardless. So you could air dodge away. That's also a possibility. Maybe be laggier than getting going in. Um, for a, a tech roll, but the worst choice was doing that. Sure, to be honest, in that when I pause it like that, it looks like you can go over it, but it's too much of a risk. You're way too far for that to cross up. Okay, good distance to be using the Herman. Why did you get hit with that though? Ah, oh, just terrible grab. I'm gonna take that as a misinput. Um, definitely uh, practice your pivoting. If you're in a situation when you're facing away and he's stuck and chill, practice your pivoting. Pivot grabs, pivot hits. Okay. Don't think anyone would have expected that of Smash. I've noticed too many jumps, and I think Alex notices that too. Um, mix up your um, recovery. I wonder if you do it again. Technically, you did. Uh, you got away with murder. He used up Smash to punish your jump onto stage. It's just that you didn't commit to going further in. Just watch your- try and uh, be careful of your habits, um, in-game. Good players will always look for your habits, better players will know their own habits and adapt from it. Way too many defensive options. Too many. <clears throat> You're not patient enough. Hesitating, panicking. Where, wherever it is, you need to learn to focus more in set and um, control your instinct, I would say. Most players don't have an instinct to throw out a move because they... I don't want to say impulsiveness, but it kind of is. So you need to try and uh, keep that in check and avoid throwing out moves which would uh, lead to serious consequences. Alright, down two. T terrible fair. R really bad fair. Like, you're nowhere near for the punish at all. He's already out there before you even threw the move. You're very lucky the back air worked, to be fair, very lucky. That down smash could have been horrible for you. Oh, one time we tech. Get hit with there. He's coming in. Yikes. I would have rolled away. And you know why? Because if you roll away, the best he's going to do is dash in and do a dash attack. 
which won't kill you. You'll still be in a bad spot, but it won't kill you. Or if he's a really good player, then he can go for Nair and then into another move off stage. Um, however, I don't think uh, Alex OD's level would have reached that point. So rolling away would have definitely been the smart answer. But you see he's dashed in after the hit. You should know then that down smash will be coming out because of his placement. He comes in, he stops where he wants to to be able to cover the rolling and the, the tech up. So you need to get the hell out of there. Another jump. Bad habits. Bad habits. Watch him. You stopped it there, but I think yeah, it's a little too late now. Alex sees that he, he, you know, he jumped God knows how many times in this set. He's just gonna punish it with a... He always tried to there with an F2. So, uh, yeah. I mean, you've, you put yourself in that situation and made your made your set a whole lot harder than it needs to be. Because you've, you've given uh, Alex a, a game plan. Uh, we're going battlefield. Yeah, that back air. Um, timing's important. So important. If you're all the way on, on the ground level and he's in the top platform, you really think, and you really think you'll be able to reach him in time. You need to answer. You need to ask this um, to yourself whenever you play a match, and um, from there you can figure out if it, if it's a viable choice or not. That back air was not because of the distance you are in. I always respect the distance and the time you can get somewhere. That is too slow. No matter how far Sonic is, it's not fast enough to reach there. That was good roll read. I would have done the same. Alright, go for lasers. Good use. You see he stopped later lasers and um, doesn't choose to camp anymore. If he stop stop lasers and you see there's a, mo a brief moment where he doesn't bring the gun out again and starts dashing, you know, you know he's not he's going to be more aggressive. So he punished very well with the dash attack there. So that's good to see. Got more stage into a nice F smash. This set, or this round match, was much better than how game one went. Um... Complete opposite, I would say. Yeah. Cross up, got away safely, played. That is good Sonic gameplay right there. Good spacing, good use of the moves. Um, yeah, that's exactly how you should be going about it. You can see he's being aggressive, so you're 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 playing passively and countering at the right times that is when he's not being aggressive that's when you i've you tried to counter again but um alex this time decides i'm not gonna commit fully because he is punishing my commitment so i'm gonna stay back uh, and bait him instead and that's what he's done so you watch yourself so he comes in dash attack you tried to uh, see what I was saying. You, you played well in this section before with the with uh, the the bait and punish, but he's done his dash attack, and you didn't respect that he could recover quickly from it. Um, you try you tried to do the turnaround from the dash to uh, come in, but he's already thrown out his move. So um. Hmm. I would say if you if you done one or two things right the first two times, try and not go for it the third time. Despite how hard it is that you want to, and you know, 
you would love to because if it works first two times, then why not the third? But you got to also remember that he could adapt. And depending on the skill level, he could adapt after the first try. He could adapt after the second time, try. He could adapt after the third try. Um, you need to determine his skill level as you play and then you yourself decide whether you want to make that commitment or not. Unfortunately, you did. You got hit with that down tilt. I, mean, I, I don't know why, but that jump's unsettling me. It's here. You res you were shielding. You see he's jumping in. You, you jumping like that has put you in a disadvantage because you have not you have not buffered the, um, an attack when you jumped. Because you didn't buff an attack when you jump, he has more time to throw out a move. I mean... You're fortunate that Alex didn't throw a Nair first. I think he did a fair, if I'm right. Yeah, he did fair. So, um... Try buffering the move. You kind of want to beat him out in the air. If he's already in the air, more often than not, they will win the aerial trade because they don't have to press jump. Um... But if he hasn't thrown out a move, you could still win the air-to-air -air battle. But you need your reaction and timing to be on point. Nice try with the back. It was close. It wasn't necessary. You're already in the lead. You can play as campy as you want. You're Sonic. Just... You know, with that hype, um, with a stock lead, you can really sit back and wait for the opportunity to come to you. Again, dangerous, dangerous. You're so aggressive when you really didn't need to be. And now you're racking up damage. Ah, these... Yeah, I'm so many times with the fairs off stage, putting yourself at a huge disadvantage. You really want the control of neutral. Two sucks. Two sucks. All right. Anyway, going back to finish this off. Okay. Alright, a good throw. Two stocks to one. You still lay up a hell of a lot of damage when you didn't need to. Um, aggressive when you really didn't need to be. That was an opportunity. At this point, you're just throwing... You're throwing a lot of movement and attacks out there. And uh, Alex has decided just to sit back a little bit and uh, see if he can punish you for uh, committing so much. With a dash attack right there, yeah. I think matching Alex's tempo would um, prove helpful for you. High percent for both. Let's try the back air. Oof. I'm playing a lot more cautious now because you've seen uh 
you've seen how close this has got now and you gotta be careful with that because Alex might see that you're being a bit fearful I think he's still living oof yeah just uh, too much going on right there way too much than you needed to not um you're not really reacting to him as much you're more sticking with the plan that you have in your mind and um with it trusting it to work but ah, i just got killed i think that was a bit of a bad di as well just maybe Yeah, so um, definitely look at respecting space, respecting, um, always asking yourself whether the action you're going to take will actually be useful to you. Um, learning when to apply pressure and when not to, certainly when not to. And uh, less jumps off the edge and also um, going off less off stage unless you truly can um uh, obtain that hit because sure edge guarding is great but if you don't do it you're at a much bigger disadvantage and it's quite scary especially dealing with wolf you know if you miss the attack off stage and he's on stage before you are you're having to deal with a wolf edge guard and that's a situation which you don't want to be in um other than that that'll be it really uh not a bad set to watch, a lot of things to learn from, and I hope that the next time um, you will do much better, and then we can submit, uh, uh, we can review another set.